What is the best image size to upload your photos to Facebook? This is a question that is often asked of me and I often see it on Facebook. And there are so many responses to this. Is it 2000 pixels? Is it 3000 pixels? Is it 1000 pixels? Is it just, well, just save your photo in Lightroom to JPEG and upload it. It'll be all right. It's not. There is that magic formula and Facebook tells you that if you want to look for it. The magic size is 2048 pixels on the long edge. Now you might say, well, Charles, I just shoot in JPEG. I've only got like a 20 megapixel, like my Nikon D500. I shoot in JPEG basic. The file size is so small. It's only two megabytes. Surely Facebook will accept that. Yes, Facebook will accept a file size of two megapixels, but Facebook doesn't just look at the file size of two megapixels. For example, my D500 here in basic JPEG, so this is the lowest resolution that it will save a JPEG, is 1.9 megabytes, but the pixel size is 5,500 on the long edge, more than twice of what Facebook says that it will accept. So what happens? It compresses your image down. And this is why your photos won't look nice, even if you just say, well, I just download my basic JPEG files and just upload them. This is the reason, because it's the pixel count. It's not just the file size that Facebook looks at. You'll see some people say, well, you know, like just shrink it down to around 1000 or 1500 pixels on the long edge. The problem lies here is that if you shrink it down too much, then Facebook will increase the file size so it looks good. And what happens is if it increases your file size, so for example, you upload at 1000 pixels, Facebook could increase the file size to 2000 pixels in width or in height, depending on how you shot the image. And the result is that your image will look grainy because it's been increase so the pixels look much bigger. On the other side, if you upload, like mine here, at 5,500, Facebook will compress it. And it will compress it by just over 50%, which will mean that your photo really doesn't look nice. And this is why you really need to listen to what Facebook states. And they say the best size is 2,048 pixels. But there is a way to get great photo even if your photo is just 2048 pixels on the longest edge. I use Adobe Lightroom but you can use any editing program that you want to shrink it down and I will show you a couple of tricks when you're saving your photo to get the best photo, the best quality onto Facebook and I've been doing this for years and my photos on my Facebook page come out beautiful. So let's dive into Lightroom and I'll show you how to export beautiful sunset at Moran's Falls. I want to save this. It's already been edited. Okay, right, beauty. Let's save it now to Facebook. So the shortcut key in Lightroom is Control Shift Export. We bring it up and we have our export dialog here. Now I've got some Lightroom presets made specifically to export into certain places because if I'm uploading photos for my YouTube channel, they're a different size, but we're just going to look at Facebook today. If I click on Facebook here, it comes up. You can see it tells me the directory. We won't worry about the directory. I'll just save it into a place where I want to display the photos. Here we have file renaming. You can rename your photo to anything, but I just want to show you how to save the file. So we're saving in JPEG. The color space has to be sRGB. Never save in RGB. The web runs on sRGB. Always save in sRGB. The quality here I have at 90%. I would not go below 80%. Some people state that you should save it around 50%, but between 80 and 90% I've found the best. You can save it 100% if you want, but your file size just increases a little bit, takes a bit longer to upload. I found between 80 and 90% is the best. Here is the critical part here, image sizing, and it's ticked. Resize image, long edge, 2048. And here is the magic figure here, the resolution, 72 pixels. If you're printing an image, we're printing at either 240 pixels or 
320 pixels. But for the web, you only need 72 pixels and your photo will display beautifully. What this also does, if anybody tries to copy your image and print it, the file size and the resolution will be so bad that you're going to end up like with an image about this big. So small, it just will look rubbish. If you save it at 72 pixels, you know that anybody that tries to copy to print that image, they will be wasting their time. And then I've got output sharpening here. I've ticked it, screen, and I've just set the standard sharpening. That's it. I've just added just a little bit of sharpening to the image. You can see I've got a watermark here. I'll untick the watermark for the time being and we'll just click export. It's exporting the image. Now let's look at our exported image. Look at that, it's beautiful. Even on my 32 inch monitor, it displays great. And this is a 4K monitor. There's nothing to complain about, but look at the file size here. 2048 by 1152 on the narrow edge. The file size, 2.3 megabytes. And you can see it displays beautifully. On your phone, it would look beautiful if you use the formula. 2048 pixels on the widest edge to save to Facebook your photos are going to be displayed at its best quality on Facebook. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Stay safe, enjoy photography. I'll see you next time.